So the Dundee Stars are the team in town. The Steelers running out of games in the regular season and they need a bounce back performance. That man, the Elite League Player of the Week, Tyler Marcienko. But one thing in sight for the Sheffield Steelers and that's trying to retain their Elite League title. A man who's won it though, Trevor Koenig, stands in their way. Stars into the offensive zone. Steelers will get a quick turnover here. Forcing in the neutral zone and now they've got a chance to break away. They've got some space. Here's Levi Nelson. Nelson with the shot. Scores! He lets it go into the corner and the Steelers are on the board early. This week's gold rouse is over. Nelson with the snipe. He's thinking pass, pass, pass and then has a big piece of the net to shoot at. And he finds the twine and the Steelers up by one. Steelers back in possession now. One touch pass from Hewitt will get it back from Phillips who drives towards the net. Just helps this one in. Stars should clear this one away pretty comfortably. Huge giveaway, Leguiz scores! A massive pizza up the middle. Legui, the grateful recipient, and he tucks in. He's done it so many times, and the Steelers lead by two. It's been an electric start to this one, and it could get even better. Penalty coming on the Stars. To be cleared away. A hooking call here. So the Steelers are heading on the power play. Mosienko wins the face off. Back it goes. Here's Coyle. Steps in all the way through. Steelers though will build again. Working the right side. To the top it goes. It's O'Connor. Deflects through. And Coyle again, still is working the power play nicely. Wow. Here's O'Connor in the middle. Quick chance to get it to the side of the net. Oh, it's gone in. It's Jace Coyle. And how that crept through. But we'll get a better angle here. Huge deflection off the skate and it beats Koenig five hole. You see the movement here and it goes off the left skate there. And that's enough to take it past Trevor Koenig. Well, the Steelers are firmly in charge right now. Saric goes back. We'll run this one all the way around the boards. It's taken back by the Stars. Pinch is out. And Marek Pinch. How far is out of the goal here? Super aggressive, but he takes the deflection away there. Fitzgerald. Long outlet pass. Coney will play this. Steelers are going to pick up on the end of it as well. This could be an opportunity out in front for Matthew. Ah! That's four! Not quite a short-handed goal as the Steelers return to full strength. And Matthew uh, with the move and the patience. And it's a reward for this sellout crowd at I Sheffield. It's a game of inches. And Matthew uh, had just enough space to poke that one home. Didn't miss by much. Stars with a quick shot here. Takes a big deflection wide. Options to release this one early. They do. This could be a chance for Mosienko. Can't keep possession though. Now maybe gets a second chance. Back door. Debian! Five alive! for the Sheffield Steelers. 
The title dream lives on as Guillaume Debien buries it. Marcienko the maker. Debian deadly. He enjoyed that. Dundee threatening to make something happen here. This could be a shooting opportunity. Well, how doesn't that go in? Two chances. Clarkson will rip it again into the glove of Marek Pintz. But watch this one one more time. The shot comes off the glove. Good deflection. Steelers will try and poke this one clear, and now they've got a break. Two on one. Debian with a little pass. Second chance, and the Steelers finish this time round. It's Tyler Mosienko. Tic tac toe. And Mosienko picks up the pieces. Debian. Nelson. Mosienko. That's number six. This is an impressive, impressive performance. What a response from Paul Thompson's men. So a change in that mind up for Mark Lefebvre. Craig Holland, the man between the pipes. Will he have more fortune, I wonder? Swept towards goal. Oh, it's gone in. Holland didn't know anything about it. It's a seventh, and Luke Ferrara's going to claim it. It was in and out. Good shot from Ferrara, though, and that's a timely reminder. You see this? Holland beaten, and the Steelers have seven. And they remain very much in the Elite League title hunt. And they keep the pressure on the Cardiff Devils. Huge performance from the Steelers who head to Coventry next, knowing only a win at the Sky Dome will do. So Marek Pintz, man of the match. A shutout for his trouble. And it's the slowest Eddie of all time, I think. Oh, what's he got? Here he goes. He's having fun. And the belly flop to end it all. All a hell of a way to, uh, to bounce back. Good players with good attitudes that uh, were a little bit hurt, you know, from, from the results in the week, bounce back and, 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 and good teams do that. And uh, we are a good team and we are a good club. And I uh, thought we played some nice stuff tonight. I mean, you know, to win 7-0 at home is always, a, is always a pleasing aspect, especially after what's happened, you know, in the week. But uh, I think it showed that, you know, some of the results around the league right now, when you, when you look at the, the amount of hockey that we're all playing, but it takes its toll on you, and uh, I don't excuse how we played on Tuesday night, but I think the, the, the people that don't understand the sport are the first people to point their fingers and criticise when the people that do understand the sport knew we weren't in a great spot from an energy point of view. And I really like the way we battled back on Wednesday in Nottingham. We didn't win the game, but I like the way we came back. And tonight, you know, two days rest from games, so, you know, a practice yesterday, we didn't keep them out long, we just went through some stuff and we walked through some of our systems again and we get a, a big win today. So, and I, and I thought, you know, our penalty killing was great today, 100%, our power play was 100% today. And uh, we executed some really nice goals and, and defensively we were strong We and we kept going for 60 minutes and Pinky gets a much needed shutout, which will, won't hurt his confidence either. 
With the result in Fife, then beating Cardiff, with Nottingham going down last night to uh, to Belfast, there was a feeling in this building before the game, wasn't it? It sold out with an hour and a half to go, and I think people realised this, the importance of this weekend, and and the team then came out and played like they knew the importance as well with that great first period. Yeah, I mean, you always know the importance, but you know sometimes you come off the rails. Great teams come off the rails. You know, it, it, it happens, and uh, but if you panic and you start screaming and shouting and you start blaming and pointing the finger at everybody, you know, it ends up two games, three games, four games, five games, six games, seven games. And, you know, we had to circle the wagons. I mean, we took a lot of heat, a lot of criticism, mainly from our own fans. We expect it from, from around the league. And, uh, you know, one minute you're a hero in this game and the next minute you're zero. And it's, you know, we had to circle the wagons and we need to point the guns you know, outwards, not inwards. And that's exactly what this team's done. And it's, uh, it's full of great characters and it bounced back with a great win tonight. So hopefully we've sent everybody home from Ice Sheffield with a big smile on their face. Tonight. One of the people who did answer the bell as well was Marek Pinch. Great for him to get the shot out. Played very well tonight. Yeah, it was. I mean, the team played well in front of him and he looked very astute in what he needed to do. And, you know, Marek last week, I don't know if I said to you, David, but Marek last week, you know, after the game, I mean, you know, it was a tough, tough night. It was a tough night for him. and. Uh, I spoke to him after the game and he said, don't leave me out, coach, because I was thinking of playing Brad and, and putting Daryl back in to give us another, another body. You know, and he said, don't you leave me out. He says, I'm part of this. I want to be in there tomorrow. You know, and, I, and that's the kind of attitude and the, the kind of steely you know, resistance you want from your, from your players. And uh, like I say, yes, you, 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 this sport, you, you take kicks in the backside. It's how you pick yourself back up and move on. And, We've done that tonight, and we've got to, you know, we've got to go down to Coventry tomorrow. I think out of the six out of the last six games we've played them, you know, we've had the better opportunities and the, and the, and the better puck possession and, and chances in five of them, but we haven't got it done, and it's not been good enough. And we've got to go in there tomorrow, and we've got to, you know, get that next win. We're we're sitting at the top of the league tonight, and we want to stay there.